Greetings, everyone out in internet reality, wherever you are. This is just a quick video to address the topic which has come up a couple of times in the uh, last few days for me from different people. And basically, I am vegan, I don't eat animals, I don't eat milk from animals, I don't eat any animal products, ideally. Uh, I don't eat fish. And generally speaking, I do not go around trying to force this on anyone in any way. But I do, in conversation with people, when they're talking about these things, um, or maybe they're talking about health or something like that, I may bring up the subject because veganism is known very well to bring health benefits. And ultimately also because I care about animals and all living beings such that I wish to see suffering and pain and death ended. And veganism has that aim so most of the time when I bring this up people are okay with it they don't have too much of an issue they might not agree with me they might want to keep on to their old ways but generally that's that sometimes people get triggered and they accuse me of trying to pressure myself onto them and my opinions and so on um, forcing change when in reality I'm not doing that in any way whatsoever these people can easily just stop listening or walk away um, I'm not grabbing them, I'm not forcing them to do anything. In fact, sometimes it's on the internet where I really have no ability to force anyone to do anything at all. So, there's an issue here. There's something not quite right in uh, Psychologyville for some people. And I feel that it's a projection, in essence, where actually they're forcing themselves onto uh, animals, living beings, and basically having them killed because of their own opinions and their own beliefs and then any possible attempt by anyone else to have them see the light of truth of what they're doing and maybe how much pain they're causing and so on may cause them to flip that around and project onto the person talking as if they're the one doing this thing so this just happened today I was talking to somebody um, who I don't know who I don't know them on Facebook under a quite a relatively well known vegan bodybuilders page who I know personally here a little bit and this guy was a friend of his who um, was a meat eater and basically he said to cut a long story short that I was being a kind of an aggressive vegan activist and pressuring him to uh, to do what I wanted him to do and I have no right to do that he can live how he wants to live and you know it's just my opinion what I'm saying is just opinion it's not fact or anything and um, you know, I should let him live. Like, he should be live and let live, and I should let him live and do what he wants to do. And and the the, the telltale point here is that no matter what I said to him about this subject, he ignored nearly all of it. If if it if it was if what I said showed him to be hypocritical, he would simply ignore it pretty much. And what I was saying, amongst other things, was that by eating dead animals, you are forcing yourself on them. You're forcing your opinions on them to the point where they suffer directly because of it. So there's no amount really of um, opinion forcing that a vegan can do to a non-vegan which matches the amount of opinion forcing that meat eaters do to animals. Um, they're literally forcing their opinion on them to death. Um, he just doesn't seem to understand that and, and really from my perspective it's not that he couldn't understand that, it seems to be more to do with defense mechanism that's intending to deny reality and to kind of deflect away from personal responsibility to make the other people look wrong or as if they're instigators and problem makers and causing imbalance and breaching the peace and so on completely denying that animals suffer basically um, and the core of the position seems to be in him and many people although maybe he's a bit more reasonable than quite a lot of people I've heard talking on this. Um, their position essentially is that animals don't have a... basically they don't seem to count for anything. So if they, if a human forces their will onto an animal, that's irrelevant, you know, it's just okay, it's fine. But if a human tries to force their opinion onto another human, that's bad and wrong and a problem. What they're completely missing again is that they are the one that started this. They're the one that started forcing their will onto other people. It's not even their will. They're forcing their mind and their beliefs onto other beings. 
animals and fish and so on and they don't want that I mean I've never seen an animal running towards a slaughterhouse begging to be let in um, you know usually they're terrified and, and trying to get away um, because they don't want to die so really there's there must be judgments and denials in the mind of these people to be attempting to make out as if vegans are aggressive um, troublemakers while they completely deny it and, and just overlook conveniently that these vegans are speaking up for living beings who don't have a voice and who deserve to be respected just like you or I do and ultimately they are us we are one um, if you look into my eye you'll see a black area where I receive light um, all animals as far as I'm aware share that trait and many other traits because we all have a form of sentience and we all fo fo follow a form making template on this planet we are spirit essence manifesting with bodies which move us so that we can experience and learn and express and just because one body has um, let's say more fur and less vocal cord manipulation capacity and maybe a different shaped and designed brain so that they process information differently it doesn't make them less important less necessary less less uh, worthy of respect and care than any others and the great irony of the people that classify animals as being less important than other animal or other forms of mammals such as human is that often they will say well these creatures are not as intelligent as us um, and therefore they're noticeably le less intelligent and they're just not important they're not going to evolve the planet in any great way they're not going to um, solve our problems they're really just here to be eaten and abused or exploited for our purposes the irony is that what they're saying is that these beings have a lower consciousness and a lower level of intelligence and therefore we should exploit them but from my perspective is they can't see that these beings actually are one with us and made of the same essence as us are sentient can feel um, can form relationships can be taught can learn things some animals even learn English language um, if they can't understand that and understand our connection and the similarities that we share then they really don't have a very high intelligence and I would suggest that in fact many animals have a higher intelligence than these humans and I don't mean that in a judgmental way or in a way that is uh, meant to be um, aggressive or demeaning I mean it in an actual literal I would say provable way um, you would need to have had deep relationships with animals to understand this and many people in our current societies haven't had those kind of relationships because they lived in cities or just not in an environment where animals were given and afforded respect needed for them to be let's say close to something close to being fully awake or fully present and conscious enough to actually have such a relationship with a human and equally for the human to do the same so um, I have had relationships with animals in that way in a kind of conscious connecting way and and I'm sure that some of them are more intelligent than many humans I've met uh, there are also many humans who are much more intelligent than many animals I don't basically think that just because I have or any other human has a human shape that makes them more intelligent to be honest um, I also think that I feel that there's a difference between intelligence and wisdom and that basically we are intelligence we are an intelligence so the issue is not really intelligence the issue is your use of it and whether or not it's balanced and whether or not it's wise and whether or not the decisions and beliefs and choices that you hold and make actually result in good feelings and well-being and peace <laughs> and evolution and balance or not um, so that's really all I wanted to say here just to leave a little record a little trace for those who think that vegans are being aggressive and they're bad people or anything like that or they're just imbalanced um, there is a reason why there's an aggression there the anger and the aggression usually is there because it wants to protect life 
not because these people are arrogant, ignorant idiots, but because when they see friends and family in the forms of other animals being tortured and murdered en masse with no care or heart involved, um, they get triggered, they get angry and they want to protect them. Just like many humans would get angry when they want to protect someone who's being raped or tortured or murdered, another human. Um, my suggestion perhaps is for those people who view these vegans as being troublemakers, maybe ask yourself this, go and look at videos from Asia and Africa of humans being tortured and murdered on the internet and see whether you feel a desire to, to, get, to protect those beings and get angry because if you don't then it's quite possible that the problem is that you aren't feeling real emotions, you aren't feeling anger, you aren't feeling um, the energies that keep people alive and that protect them and instead you're just judging those to be bad in other people and really the issue is your own borderline psychopathy rather than uh, aggression from other people trying to protect life. So yeah, I hope that's clear and uh, I'm more than willing to uh, take any questions and comments on this subject and please feel free to share this with anyone anywhere and uh, may, we, may all beings know unconditional love and enlightenment.